golden age of flamenco between 1869 and 1910, flamenco developed rapidly in music cafe called Café Cantantes, where the public could eat, drink, and watch the performances. We are going to talk with Jose Luis Perez, a professional flamenco singer. He's originally from Spain, but lives in Montreal, Canada. He's also a dancer. Yes, the man can also dance. But tonight we want to know more about the singing, or as the Spanish say, el cante. has its own rhythm it's very hard to when you sing it's got to be always within that same rhythm you can't sing it lyrically you know it's got to be always in that contra you know that's why we do the palmas and everything you also need to, to give it the character that it has that's what's that's the hardest thing quejillo what we say quejillo that's when you hear it it looks like you know it looks like it's hurting and looks like it you know what I mean you're singing flamenco a lot of people say what is he hurting because it goes Ay! you know so that's what's hard to to obtain. So we saw you dancing, you're a singer and a dancer. Which one do you like the best? Dancing brings me another another thing which is the, the, the physical aspect, the exhaustion, the, 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 the letting out everything you have, you know, in that intensity. But then again you're limited in, in the, the places you can do it, you know. Good thing about being a singer is you can sing everywhere. You can practice in your car, you can practice in the street. And that's very good too and a lot of times I've felt really either sad or different kinds of and singing's gotten me out of that. 